guess I could have left that one over there. Actually, we can show you how. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's here. You can show how the how different build accessories. It. How to build it. Okay. Cause see, I wouldn't even know what those accessories right. are. Right, 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 right. So what the hell is that? So when we were talking, we were talking earlier about the ceramic cookers and how they can be set up different ways to do different things: direct heat, indirect heat, pizza oven, conventional oven. The Primo is probably the best way of showing how that can be done. The Primo is the only one that all, everything comes in halves, so actually the, it can be set up in two separate ways. It can be direct heat on one side, it can be indirect heat on another. It's the only one that actually does that. So we start with a divider, this divider flat right inside there. Okay, and so right away you've got this set up. You can have more, more fuel on one side than the other, more intense heat than the other. If you're going to set this up for indirect cooking, the first thing you'll want to do is set your place setter in there. Okay, and what this is is that just sits right in there, down like that, okay, and that's for indirect heat. So all of the heat that comes back from underneath is still going to come around the meat. Okay, and you can set this entire thing up for indirect heat mm -hmm. or half of it, which is, that's the beauty of the Primo cooker. So then you can set this. Now, what you'd want to do here is if you wanted to do pizza, you could put a pizza stone in here, and now it's a pizza oven. Oh, okay. Now it's a conventional oven if you just wanted to do a chicken in here or something, it's indirect heat. If you want to do slow cooking, this is indirect heat. Now on the other side you can have, this is a cast iron. Okay, so this side is going to sit lower, closer to the fire. You can have it more intense on this side. This cast iron is perfect for searing steaks. Uh, you get this side, you can actually get this side a little bit hotter than this. Now granted, the entire temperature all the way around is going to be the same, but you understand the concept of an indirect heat compared to a direct heat. And what kind of things do you cook in indirect heat? So indirect pizza. heat is a lot of your slow cooking, a lot of your, um, you've actually got a riser on top of that, which is nice. Mm. So um, your indirect heat is going to be for your slow cooking, like brisket, a brisket, um, a smoking that you're going to want to do, so ribs. Um, anything you want low and slow, um, brisket, pork butt, uh, tenderloins, you know, anything like that that you want low and slow, that's how, that's where the indirect heat comes from because you want it to be enveloped with the, um, the smoke mm -hmm. and the, and the heat. That's the indirect heat. But, uh, the, the Primo, what I really, really like about the Primo is the fact that everything does come in halves. Everything comes in halves. So you can set this up, it's more versatile. It's a larger cooking area than your traditional uh, large Kamado Joe or large big green egg. Mm -hmm. Now, they do also make, take a look at, take a look at this over here. This would be, this would be Kamado Joe's answer to the Primo. It's a big Joe, okay? And the big Joe is just that. It's a much, much larger cooking area. Um, you can set this up. Um, you know, direct heat on one side and direct on the other. It does have a splitter um, where the big green egg does not. Um, but there, and, and a lot of the accessories that you can buy on this, it's similar to the Primo, but this just gives you the larger cooking area. If you want to cook a lot, if you want to do two briskets, you would need a Primo or a, or a large Joe. Um, this is great for entertaining. This is great for catering. Um, competitions, you'll see a lot of these in the co competitions nowadays, the barbecue competitions. More and more cooks are going to the ceramic cookers, or at least having one available mm -hmm. to cook on. So what's the, what's the difference between the, the damper below and the damper above? It's just above? airflow. It is just that, just airflow. So you want constant flow, okay? Um, if you shut this off all the way, it's too much work for this, okay? And vice versa. You know, if you shut this all the way down and then just that, you know, it's just, uh, it's too much work for down there. So if you do a combination of the both, the air is going to come below and up. And then your heat, of course, rises. So the constant airflow okay. um, is what's going to maintain your temperature. Okay. So more or less, are you kind of adjusting the same. If yeah. that one's wide, that one's wide, and that one's Yeah, small. you know, and you can play around a little bit. You know, yeah. you can have this wide open and this shut down a little bit if you'd like, because you're still getting air flow. Yeah. And then cleaning, of course, is easy. You just get a little tool and pull that out. Actually, you can take a shot vac. I've done this, where I take a shot vac and I go and it sucks out the ash and you're done. People, 
you know, the biggest misconception on these is people say that charcoal is messy and charcoal slow and charcoal tastes like lighter fluid and that's just not the case with these. Um, once you cook on one of these one time, it's probably pretty much the only thing you'll ever cook on again. And I guess for the people that are like uh, super, some of the people are like super, uh, I don't know, um, efficiency oriented, then one of these with very little cooking material, charcoal or wood or whatever, you could cook for a long time as opposed to some of the other. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. No, I mean, and, and as far as gas grills, we absolutely, we're not complete stops. We do have gas grills. <laughs> we cover, um, Vermont is one of, by far, one of the better gas grills. It comes really, really good. Um, great, high heat. Uh, I mean, this is just, a, as, as far as gas grills go, just an absolutely wonderful gas grill. Uh, just rock solid, just built very, very well. Um, also have the Swiss. Also carry the Swiss grills. Very nice, very easy. Again, built-in rotisserie on this one. Um, as far as gas grills go, I mean, it's hard to beat the two of those. Okay, so that's the little battery pack or something? Yeah, this is the battery pack for the rotisserie. Okay. You know, the Swiss, is, think of this as a Swiss Army knife, because it's pretty much, you know, it's like, it's like a Swiss Army knife with grills. Mm -hmm. You even got your little bottle opener on it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you can think of, they thought about it and they put it on the grill. <laughs> well, I know what. One of the new top, uh, 